is here. Here we go then, green lights on. Flex up now. And Hookenbeck's made a good jump, but I'll tell you what, Jason Dawes made a better one. Fabulous start from the Australian. He fires himself to the front. Madsen coming through in the second place. The German now back in third, Hookenbeck. Round the inside, coming through there is Jan Quebec. Jan Quebec has got the better of Hookenbeck there. Smart move from him, but super, super start from Jason Doyle. Yeah, brilliant coming from gate three, just tapping the fence there, launches him into the corner. Madsen hanging with him, putting him under a Fast. little bit of pressure. Madsen's looking for the outside line now. He knows he's got a gap, he's not under pressure from behind. He's going to have the speed here down the straight. Fabulous overtake there. Jason Doyle now looking to repay the favour up the inside. I think he's going to do it. What a race is this! We're into the last lap. Leon Madsen once again firing himself up the inside. Top car speedway here. Well, wheel to wheel down the back straight for the final time. Leon Madsen and Jason Doyle putting on a masterclass of world championships speedway there in E number 11. Madsen coming through in the end, but by crikey, that was a battle for three points. Super speedway. Doesn't get a lot better than that, in truth. And Jason Doyle will be a touch frustrated to allow Madsen to come through on a couple of occasions, but Madsen, after failing to score first time out, has picked up six points in his last two rides. Three points for him there. Doyle, two points in second place. Kai Hukenberg picking up one in third, and Jankovic failing to score. Lovely race, that. That was exciting stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, fabulous start from Jason Doyle and... Uh, Leon Madsen, you can see he was just generating that speed as each lap went by, seeing now again from the start. What a start from Jason Doyle coming from Gate 3. Gate 3 hasn't been bad, it's been better than it generally is on this track. And uh, he took full advantage of that, hit the front. Looks comfortable for a couple of laps, and then I don't know whether he was just maybe the tyre getting a little bit hotter than Leon's or something going on, but he just seemed to start losing a little bit of pace. Leon worked it out, we can see there. Well, I think uh, Madsen just generated more speed here. I think he, yeah, he's he worked just, it out. I think Jason may have just been a little bit conservative, but could move there from uh, Hookenbeck later on. Yeah. But this speedway in front was brilliant. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, now the lead's sort of changing on every corner. We can see there Madsen. You can see how hard he turns the bike. He goes past him up the inside and thinks, I cannot fall for this. I cannot leave the big gap mm. coming into the next corner. So he turns really, really hard. And uh, Jason there almost having to put the brakes on. So Leon Madsen moving on to six points from three outings after failing to score on his first one. You can see there from gate number four, he's bounced back.